The Agriculture Improvement Act of 2018, also known as the Farm Bill, will be expiring this year. As Crystal Quow reports, North Dakota commodity groups are meeting with local producers to discuss updates to the Farm Bill that will be written this year. The snow that covers thousands of acres of North Dakota farm fields is beginning to melt, just as debate about this year's Farm Bill begins to heat up. The Farm Bill is an all-encompassing piece of legislation that covers issues related to farming for biofuel, horticulture, the SNAP program, commodity prices, and more. Joseph Sheldon, farmer from Washburn and representative for North Dakota Corn Growers Association, says the scope of the bill affects the ability for farmers and ranchers to feed everyone. If I could have it my way, I'd probably say do no harm to crop insurance because that's a, a very important risk mitigation tool. At the meeting today, crop insurance was a huge talking point because of the varied climates in North Dakota. Speakers also touched on refining loan approval requirements for first-time farmers. Brenda Elmer, executive director of North Dakota Corn Growers Association, says she heard ideas she hadn't heard before. They might not know, you know, the, the, the uh, paperwork and, and the policies themselves, but they know how it impacts them. She says her organization is attempting to bridge some of the disconnect between policymakers in Washington and the producers. Kel Nesham, farmer and director of North Dakota Grain Growers Association, says his organization would like to see funding increases to develop foreign markets. About 50 percent of the wheat across the U.S. is exported, so we really need to keep those markets open. The session wasn't only about the bill, but also delved into experiences at the Farm Services Agency and Next Generation Farmers. Representatives of members of Congress attended. In my notes, I'm Crystal Quow, reporting for your news leader. Now the farm bill expires September 30th. The next grower listening session is tomorrow morning at 8.30 in Dickinson.